Thank you for joining our session today. We will walk you through the journey of migrating your mobile games to Google Play Game on PC. And we will share some tips from developers who are bringing their best game experience to PC players. My name is Shen Shen, and I'm a developer advocate on Google, working to help developers to be successful on Google Play. We will see a couple of examples today and see how they optimize the game for larger screens. Also, I'm very glad to have our special guest speaker, Maggie from Mutong. Hi, my name is Maggie, and I am a publishing channel manager on Mutong. I will share the exciting journey on how we bring Mobile Legends Bang Bang to Google Play Games on PC. So let's get started. Our research tells us that many mobile gamers really want to play their favorite mobile games on PC, if the opportunity exists to do this. We are bringing the new Google Play Games, which will offer users a seamless multi-platform experience on Windows PC. Google Play Games on PC will be a standalone Windows application for players to discover games, manage their libraries. You will feel just like any other native game on PC. But under the hood, we will work through Android emulation, and you will be able to publish and distribute your games on Windows with nearly no additional effort. Recently, we just launched the Google Play game on PC beta in selected regions with some of the most popular games from Google Play. We have over 30 launch partners, including Summoner War, Mobile Legend, Three Kingdom Tactic, Garden Skips, and State of Survival. If you are a player in the beta regions, hope you are enjoying those fun games on PC. You may be wondering if you can just simply put the exact same mobile games on PC. The answer is yes and no. Our goal is to allow developers to publish in the same artifact that serves both mobile and PC players. However, most of the existing mobile games are optimized for full screen only. In order to bring the best quality games for PC users, there are a few more tasks we can plan ahead. With the tools provided by Google, developers can easily perform some necessary changes to fulfill the basic requirements for Google Play games on PC and optimize the cross-screen experience. When we talk about player experience on a large screen, it can be summarized in the four main aspects. These four basic requirements can ensure a decent experience for PC players. Let me walk through them one by one. First, allow players to enjoy the game with keyboard and mouse, because not every PC has a touch screen. Secondly, some games might need to tweak the in-game UI or access quality to make it large screen friendly. The third, allow players to continue to play the same progress seamlessly across different devices without worrying about remembering or input password. This can be done with the new PGS Auto Sign SDK. Lastly, optimize the game with the suitable architecture for the platform. In PC's case, it is x86. Let me talk more about it, which is actually easy to do. x86 is widely supported across game engines. We worked with Unity recently to bring the x86 support back to Unity 2019 and further versions. All the libraries included in your game need to have the x86 ABI compatible versions to ensure the best performance and stability on the platform. Google Play Games support both 32 bits and 64 bits versions, but you only need to choose one to meet the requirements. Worth mentioning that, optimizing your games for PC also means optimizing your games for any large screen. It is quite a similar effort for you to assess the growing Chromebook and Android tablet market. With the publishing feature from Google Play Console, it is quite a main effort to support all the release types to reach a large player base. We have provided the tools and SDK for developers to use a single release bundle to serve all the devices across Google Play. Google Play Games on PC will offer a simulation mode for users to use mouse click as a touch input. This enables players to enjoy most of the mobile games without tweaking input from the developers. Obviously, you can do more to leverage the keyboard and the mouse. For example, you can assign hotkeys to keyboard, replace the virtual joystick, or find a better way to match multi-touch gestures. State of Survival is a leading simulation game on mobile developed by FunPlus. It has joined the beta launch of Google Play Games on PC. State of Survival provides the function that uses mouse scroll to zoom in and out when players are managing their base. Players can now continue their adventure on the large screen to see the details of the game more clearly. You may be wondering how to teach players about a new way of playing the game. 
Don't worry, it is easy. We provided the input overlay SDK to help players easily learn the keyboard control to our game. There's a hotkey to call up the overlay of Google Play game. From there, users can do some common tasks, including viewing the control of the game. As you can see, you just need a couple of lines of code to let us SDK know about the key mapping. Then players are able to understand in the same way for all games. When players play the game on a large screen, they are expecting desktop quality of assets as well as the UI designed like a PC game. As players are using mouse to click the UI elements, our general guidance is that hearts should take up no more than 20% of the screen. Google Play Games on PC support both full screen and windowed mode with four different aspect ratios. When users change the window size, you don't have to worry about render resolution changes, but we would recommend you to support a dynamic DPI and claim it in the Android manifest. Yuma Masume is the top one mobile games in Japan in 2021. We are excited to announce that the game is coming to Google Play Games on PC. The game has its unique game feature that require players to play different scenes in both landscape and potion mode on mobile. The developer optimized the way they use the rotation of the window on the PC screen. Now players can view a more exciting match and easily switch to the adjusted poetry mode view. On Google Play Games, you can expect a performance level that matches the high end Android device released in the last 12 months. That means you should be confident to serve the best quality of your games to players on PC, or even bring it to the next level. We ask all the games on Google Play Games to run with 60 FPS by default. The platform is actually using Vulkan as the default rendering backend. We are using Angle to automatically translate GLES games. Developers don't have to worry about it, but there's more to do if you want to optimize further. Since Google Play games will pass through compressed texture whenever possible, you should consider using DXTC or BPTC format to take advantage of PC hardware. Formats such as ETC1 and ETC2 will be decompressed by the OpenGL translation layer before sending to the native graphical stack. This will continue to work, but that's optimal. As far as 9, the top racing game on mobile from Gameloft. It represents the stunning desktop racing experience with the AAA graphical quality on PC. It serves the DXCC texture on the PC version. As you may be wondering how they set up the build, let's check out more in the next slides. You don't have to create a separate build just for PC only, even if you want to deliver a different texture format to PC. Of course, you don't need to worry about delivering the unused textures to mobile users. With the help from App Bundle and the Play Assets Delivery, we provided a way for developers to do smart targeting on devices. You can create a single bundle with all the texture inside. For example, we will serve DXTC format only to Google Play Games on PC, and deliver ASTC textures to all the devices compatible with it for better performance. The rest of the device will receive in ETC2 by default. With this setup, you can achieve an efficiency building and the release process, as well as the optimal downloading on each device. You could learn more in another session, delivering optimized assets for your users with Play Assets Delivery. Well, we will talk more details about smart targeting. We believe that the essential user experience for cross-device gameplay is that players need a seamless way to continue their progress. Google Play Games users will be automatically sent to Play Game service at all the time, which will enable a frictionless continuity of play between mobile and PC. With the newly launched PGS V2, now you can just use one line of code to implement PGS in your game. Our partner PlayRix brings three of their top titles to Google Play Game already. Now every player in Gardenscapes, Homescapes, and Township can get an auto signing experience and get their progress automatically synced even the first time they log in on a new device. I would recommend watching another session, Use Sign-In as easy as 1, 2, 3, to find out more details about the Play Game service. Let me hand over to our guest speaker, Maggie from Montan. She will share their stories during joining Google Play Games on PC. Hi again, this is Maggie. We are very excited to partner with Google to bring Mobile Legends Bang Bang to Google Play Games on PC. 
Now, players in battle regions can continue to their legends fights by seamlessly connecting across devices to enjoy desktop quality gaming with their friends. Mobile Legends Bang Bang currently has over 100 million monthly active users who enjoy non-stop gameplay. Last year was a successful year for MLBB, including its eSports division. Our M3 World Championship was ranked the top three eSports event among all mobile eSports tournaments, according to eSports charts. In the global ranking for mobile eSports viewing hours in 2021, MLBB ranked first with 386 million hours of total viewing, up 2.5 times compared to 2020. As you may know, when you control a hero in MLBB, you are relying on a virtual joystick. On the PC version, there will be controls on a keyboard to move or activate hero skills. We have also added shortcuts for casting skills. Players can easily understand those new controls with a common overlay from Google Play Games which is provided by the Input Overlay SDK. What's more, we also tweaked the tutorial for PC players to get up to speed with new controls. In order to support the seamless play experience from mobile to PC, we use the new PGS V2 SDK that allows all our players to link their progress with PGS, which will automatically sync on all Google platforms. The PC version of the game will automatically select the highest quality level and choose 60 FPS by default for the best MOBA experience. We used Play Asset Delivery's newest feature, device tier targeting, to deliver four different levels of assets to different devices for seamless gameplay. With a single app bundle, we are able to serve the most suitable assets from low-end mobile devices to Windows PC. Players can always start the game with the best quality they can get. It saves time to download and improves the onboarding experience. We are very excited to bring our games to Google Play Games. It took us just a few weeks of development time to make the PC version, which will let us gain access to a larger market and growth opportunity. With the developer tools provided by Google, it was quite easy for us to deploy and test our games on PC. A very important thing for me as a person close to publishing, I would like to say it is also simple to manage new releases, including in-game patches. With the Google Play Consoles or existing features, both the pre-release testing and post-release analysis are quite familiar and manageable for us. Our journey is just beginning. If you are located in the Google Play game beta regions, you're welcome to try out Mobile Legends Bang Bang on PC. Now I'll hand the presentation back to Shen Shen. Hi again. Google Play games will be released to the worldwide players later this year. And now developers can submit an interest form through the link here. You don't have to wait. Check out the technical documents and start migrating your game now. Hope you're enjoying the session today and enjoying play games on PC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.